We're good. Thank you very much for joining us here on our yeah. This is it's our third time at Battlefield, but it's actually our fourth film festival. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. fourth. That's incorrect. This is the fourth. Yeah, yeah. It's um, and to be honest, this year it's kind of bigger than ever as well, which is it's been a good day. <laughs> and how how have your preparations been so far? Well, you know, for myself, I've been busy sort of working in LA, so like <laughs> the preparation for this has to go to my business partners, uh, Fraser and Millie, Millie Crow, and also Morgan Toby Frost. They've been on the ground 24 7, you know, working hard on this. But what we have loved about this year is that we've moved things forward and got so many more organizations sort of engaging with us, like uh, Channel 4, E4, BFI Network. And one of our, our main prides for the best fest award is uh, basically um, it's a development opportunity for the whole team. And I think in a lot of film festivals, it's the, the director, the writer, the producer, and it gets you know some such a treatment. But the fact that the whole team of the winning film gets an opportunity to move their groups forward is very exciting. Yeah, we're, we're all about the tangible outcomes, you know. So for us, we have to give that kind of career changing prize to more than just say one or two people. It's it's actually about making that change rather than just I guess talking about it really. No, it's correct. So obviously let's just take it back a little bit. Um, you guys started quite a long time ago because if I recall you started doing networking events right. uh, yeah. in Club Central mm-hmm. London mm-hmm. and then you took it up and launched with Monolog Slum, if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken. And then obviously you've got this. How did the whole fusion come together? What what made you decide that let's team up and let's let's start this meeting? Uh, I mean it's a long story, but the short version, I, me and Fraser's actors, you know, young actors, we were very lucky, we worked quite a lot. We worked, first time we worked together on a play, or the second time it was a play called People Next Door, it was in Edinburgh Festival. And that sort of gave us the idea, because Edinburgh Festival is very inclusive, and you get people from, you know, around the UK, around the world coming together, and and we just seemed to be able to bring everybody in Edinburgh to wherever we went, be it a, a little club off the high street that sells one pound, Uh, But what we recognised is that it would only happen at that point in the year. And then so when we got back to London, we sat on it a few times and thought about it for quite a while. And then we said, why don't we do our own sort of networking nights that were like monthly rap parties. That was like monthly like Edinburgh festivals. But the point where you go to the bars after you've done your your plays and you're just engaging. And then from that, we built our network and then Phrase and build the website, and then <laughs> where did we go from there? Yeah, um, as you're saying, that, that was 10 years ago now, 12 years, 12 yeah. years ago when it all kind of started. You know, it really did start in our bedrooms, and now we're in a position where, you know, like with Micro, our, our, our fellow director, you know, there's a team and there's a lot of support, and thankfully there's a lot of industry support now, but back then it was just two young guys trying something out, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was really great about us, like, you know, the word diversity is being used so much and it's like almost like, does my head in. But like, we, we've we never been that thing of like shouting and pointing, look, look what we're doing. We've just naturally done it because our lives, we've got diverse friends and family and people would see me and Fraser and go, oh, it's a black event, a black event. And we'd be like, no, don't play the us. Just come to our event and then you see what it is. And when you come to our event, you see people of all ages, more different types of background. But also from then, from being inside as outside of the business, we just said we knew it was important for the industry to engage with us. Otherwise, it's just us tapping each other on the, on the back, on the shoulders. But, you know, the more we worked as actors and, and the more we were executing you know, the events that we did, the initiatives, the more you know, the industry engaged with us. Yeah, absolutely. Again, it's, it's that kind of outcomes that, you know, there are a lot of schemes, a lot of workshops, a lot of organisations or memberships that you can pay for, but they don't actually get you work or change your circumstances or alter those routes of access, you know, and so that's all that we focus on, and even kind of back then, 
you know, it, for us it was all about inclusion, inclusivity, yeah. more than diversity. Yeah. You know, we find diversity quite divisive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whereas actually, if you look after everybody, then the rest tends to take care of itself. Yeah. I mean, that is something I've noticed um, about your brand. Yeah. Of course, you know, the whole brand is it's very welcoming. Nobody feels some kind of way about approaching you, mm-hmm. about wanting to get involved, and I think that's quite inspiring for a lot of people, a lot of young actors, producers, mm-hmm. directors that are out there. And so I think that's something you know I should really commend you Thank for you that. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and so coming for tonight, mm-hmm. what should we expect? Oh, well, you should expect some amazing films with, you know, uh, great content, uh, great acting, great writing, great directing. Uh, we've got some fantastic representation from women in our films, we have a producer level acting or directing. Uh, and then also, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the tangible outcome will be for these women, because previous winner we had Jane Gold, she won uh, a few pre- 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 years back with a uh, uh, Sunny boy. Sunny boy. And now she's got a uh, her teacher coming out, Michael O'Hart, and we're showing a trailer tonight. And then like throughout other initiatives we've got success stories, like we've got we've had an actress that won one outside UK, which is an initiative for actors, and then she got part in Black Mirror. Uh Writer Slam, uh Michael Wave, right? He's writing for Fortitude. In four months he's now writing Fortitude from and he's still he's still studying, but he did write at Slam and in four months he's gone from no one listening to write an episode of Fortitude. So. And he has an agent. Yeah. You know? That is amazing. You know, and then we you know we're doing um uh, to get a grip, which is about finding behind the talent, you know, talent and connecting them with, you know, production companies and companies that are looking for great diversity. Yeah, directors, producers, those kind of people again, we genuinely believe that it's about decision makers having more of an inclusive kind of outlook and they will automatically make inclusive work, you know, if they're from if they have that outlook and, and so for us, you know, the get grip scheme which is all about the production side of things. It really is about writers, directors, POPs, um, those people who automatically have that inclusive outlook so that the work automatically is that. And also, like, you know, this Christmas, we have been working really hard all year, but we're looking forward to having a drink and party. And, you know, we, we've got great support from the industry. So tonight we've got people like Robbie G from Puffs coming down. Wow. To, you know, if you require she to Ellen Thomas and Mitchell, that's where he's agent trying to get him a job on the weekend. <laughs> uh, so, you know, and it's really good to, because it's important for us to have that support, you know, from the, in terms of execs, also from the talent, because I think that helps with that emerging and up and coming talent that start engaging with us. They see that people, you know, being a part of this, this movement, what they're doing. So my thing is just like, look, people keep, keep engaging with us, you know, we're making the impact and, you know, a lot of money going on lots of different initiatives and I'm like, look, we're already doing it. And uh, so just give us a little call or give us a give us an email. Engage with us. And speaking of jobs, um I think obviously your passion and what's led you to come this far in terms of for me as far as I'm concerned, to be very successful with Triforce Short Film Festival mm-hmm. is the fact that both of you are actors. Mm-hmm. Is it? So shall we speak on that for a little bit? Because obviously recently you guys have enjoyed some great success, phrasing mm-hmm. yourself in the Bible and AD, um, which the Bible continues. Congratulations. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> yes. it, was, it, was, it was an amazing job. Uh, that's not been an moment down here. You know, they are just amazing producers. They have such a big global vision. And so to be part of that work and, you know, work that feels important to get out there as well. It was a, it was a real personal blessing for me, that one. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. And doing yourself recently as. Is it Striker? Uh, it's, what, it's, what it's Arrow. It's, it's Arrow, Arrow, but Arrow but and my character's name is Baron. 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 In the comics, he's a Nazi. So yeah. I don't talk about it. Nazi. Yeah, well, no, not in the comics. He's just a Nazi. So yeah. I'm all for inclusivity. But whether they're um, <laughs> CW prepared for that part, yeah. we will see. But but no, it's a great job. Like you know, Fraser again, uh, uh, Bible and AD. You know, it's very inspiring. And you know, <laughs> everyone's like, "How do you guys remain friends?" So we've got so much love for each other. And like seeing him doing it, I mean, we had a call and I said, Fraser, you've got the job that every actor over here wants. And so for me to get my chance now is great. And look, we are actors to the day that we die, but like what is a big part of Triforce is that me and Fraser are actors and we have been consistently working 
bro, between us for 40 years. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, no. You know, he's 12 and I'm 13. Yeah. Um, and like, so the more that you work, the more impact you make, uh, you know, it brings people to you, you know what I mean? Because you're, you're giving back, you're creating things, but also you're, you're striving forward with yourself. And also I think when we have uh, conversations with uh, the, you know, the people at the top, you know, the, the decision makers, I think there's a different sort of respect, you know, and uh, you're not talking like give me a job because we've already worked. We're, we're like so with our actors as well, actually. You know, actors all the time comes up. You know, we're writers and actors and directors mm-hmm. ourselves. So all of the schemes, all of the programs, everything that we create is very much from that creative perspective. Mm-hmm. How would we like to be treated as actors? Right. You know, yeah. we, do we want to pay to audition or do we want that to be free? You know, mass yeah. classes are they robust and cheap? Not so again, everything that we and like writers slam, you know, that kind of came out from frustrations as a writer finding that access. And so, you know, like monologue slam, writer slam, film festival, their solutions to the problems. And I think they very much come from that creative angle as opposed to maybe another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you, you're really right. And it, because we can relate to so many things, you know, phrases that writer, actor, director, you know, I'm an actor, you know, I enjoy producing. And so we do look at those things that we've experienced and look at like, okay, we didn't like that, we don't think that's right. So, you know, how can we change it, you know? And, uh, yeah, you know, and we're proud of it. So what should we expect from you guys from here on? Even with Pride Force, what should we expect? Okay, in terms of trifles, I expect more to have UK. And we have to be everywhere across the UK. We just because yeah. we did Birmingham, right? We, we, we've done Birmingham, we've done uh, Wales, Cardiff, Essex, Essex, Essex Hull Yeah, Manchester, and next year we're going to be in Exeter, Northampton, also Scotland. Um, so yeah, we're expecting more of Slam. And then, you know, this year we set up a production company. So we're developing some quite amazing talent at the moment. So, yeah. and like, and also, you know, we're, we're big theatre people, we're Fraser, you know, first love of theatre, and so, you know, Fraser's an amazing writer, and, you know, sometimes we forget to <laughs> promote our own, really, <laughs> uh, <laughs> develop our own, and so Fraser's got a fantastic uh, theatre script that we're looking to get the ground for next year as well. Oh, brilliant. So, www.thetheatre.com, what's it say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for having me. And I look forward to seeing all your future successes. You're an absolute inspiration to people like myself, people in this industry. And so, all I can say is I wish you all the best. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Global Magazine. Cheers. <laughs>